Hi, I'm DG Dino from Jinx Games and this is a short tutorial on how you can move up and down on an index list or on an element list on your array. Let me play this so you can see what's going on. And the first thing what will happen is this is going to be red. When I click previous, it's going to go to the previous one. And when I click next, it's going to go to the next one. Okay. First, I will show you my variables. So I have this array length in, and so I'm getting my array length and use this. Then I have a cube game object, and I'm going to store the current object in here. Then I have my cube array. So this is also a game object, and I have preset this to eight and drop in all my cubes here. So that's one, two, three, four, up to eight. Then I have this index int variable and that is to store my index. And I have set inspector to show it in the inspector. In the first state, I have this weight and that's just so things can load in for the materials and stuff. And then I'm gonna start here with this set int value and I'm going to set my index to three. So if I would set this index to zero, that would be the first cube and index seven would be the last cube. And then I'm getting this cube here. So I have my cubes array here and I'm getting this from this index number. So I'm getting the third one. So zero, one, two, three. That's gonna be cube number four. And I'm gonna store this in this cube game object variable. And then I'm gonna set this material to red. Also important later on, I want to know already what index I am currently. So that's why I did it this way and not just place here a number three inside. Okay, so that's the first one. Then I have two buttons here, this previous and next. And I just have this on click event dropped in the sample. Then select my Playmaker FSM send event and place this next in it. So this is gonna send next. And for the previous, just the same, but then set it to previous. And that's gonna trigger this previous event. And let's look first to the next. So I'm starting here with array length. Uh, I don't have to do this because I just have a preset and it's never gonna change. So I could just um, set this here to seven and it would be fine. But if you want a dynamic uh, list, so if you want more or less, then it's better that you have this um, array length here. And I'm doing this int at minus one because for example, here I have my eight cubes. So my array length is gonna be eight uh, because there are eight items inside, but my array starts from zero. So the last one is gonna be element number seven or index number seven from the eight object. And that's why I'm doing this minus one to my array length to get index number seven. So you always need to do this. If you get an array length and you want to use this to check your index, then you have to always use this minus one. Next, I have my in compare. Uh, let me just close the other ones. And so I'm comparing my current index to the array length and if it's gonna be equal or greater. So if it's already here, then it's gonna be equal. So it knows that's the last one and I can't go any further. So let's just finish and do nothing. So it goes directly here. If it's less, so if it's somewhere around here, 
then it goes to the next action and also important i have this uh, action sequence on so it goes every step and finish this action and then go to the next step then i have my set material first to set it back to white and so that's the stored cube here so that's still the old one stored inside of this cube variable then i'm doing this end add to my index so i can go to the next index and then i'm using array get to get the next cube so my index was three so that would be cube four uh, but then i added one so it's going to be cube five then i store this again in this cube variable and then i'm going to change its color to red and then go back to idle and on the previous one i don't need to get the array length here because it's going from up to zero and i do have my in compare here if my index is going to be equal to zero or less than well, it should never be less than it's just a fail safe i always put them both just to be sure but normally that should never be lower than zero then if it's greater than it can still go to a previous one so we can continue here and first i'm gonna set the current one again to white then i'm using this int add minus one because i want to go to the previous index and not to the next one then i have again this array get so i'm getting my cube so if it was on five or index six uh index four sorry it would go to index three and would get cube number four and store this again and set this material to red and that's just about it for this uh, moving up and down thank you for watching if you like the tutorial please like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can support my work by becoming a patron at patreon or donate me with PayPal or purchase my assets on the asset store. You can find the links in the descriptions below.